starting to congregate. Right, right. Maybe if we get it on Sylvie and some That's my plan. So, yeah. Orders, I received a call uh, making it very clear that we as a church were in danger if we met. And uh, the caller inferred, he called from a block number, so I'm hoping that we can get that figured out. But uh, made very plain that if we met again, that the church was in danger, that I personally was in danger, and that we were being watched. So I've determined based on that, obviously, as it is with COVID-19, we've been taking steps to protect the body. So too also our church, we're desiring them to be physically safe as well. And the threat made it clear that that possibility of harm was there. It's a little bit different, I would say, to have at least four, maybe five or six cops show up as, as it relates to this order. Um, I have a deep love and respect for law enforcement. I understand these are difficult times. And uh, we love our community. Um, in our other news um, releases and interview, that we don't believe a virus suspends the First Amendment. And the First Amendment not only protects the church, but it protects the press. So I, I think it's significant that both sides pay attention, obviously, to, to, to co the constitutionality of the current season, just looking down the road to what could unfold in the future. Printed out the message based on what it was that you know was in detailed or entailed in the call last night. So I, my hope is to pray with my people and uh, uh, and send them on their way with the notes, and then maybe later we can uh, we can through the chain our network be able to get people online so they can see the message, and uh, we can at least do something for Palm Sunday.